Hi guys, there is a topic called conservation of momentum. So let's discuss about it today. So what is the principle of conservation of momentum? The momentum is conserved in a system in which resultant force is zero. So what is conserved? The previous momentum and the after momentum of any effect is equal. That is what conserve is conserved mean. So it is also can be defined as if resultant force is zero, initial momentum equals to equals to final momentum. So this conservation of momentum principle can be used only when resultant force is zero. Let us see that by an example. But first, according to the statement of uh, conservation of momentum, let's derive the equation of this conservation of momentum. What is impulse momentum equation? We have seen in the last lecture about impulse momentum equation. RT is equal to MV, uh, MV minus MU. So here R is here R is the resultant and T is the time uh, for which the force is applied and uh, M is the mass of the body, V is the final velocity and here again M is the mass of the body and U is the initial velocity with which the body is traveling. So here according to the statement of uh, conservation of momentum, the resultant if the resultant force is zero, so if R is equal to zero, then the LHS side will be becoming zero, and the RHS side MV minus MV it remains the same as as this one. So then, if MU goes here, it will become MU is equal to MV. This is what the statement is saying. If resultant force is equal to zero, the initial momentum is equal to final momentum. If there are two bodies, then it will be the final uh, the final momentum will be m1 v1 plus m2 v2. This is the uh, final momentum of uh, first body, and this is the final momentum of second body. And uh, this will be total initial momentum will be initial moment of first body and initial momentum of second body. If you write here m1 u1 plus m2 ut is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 if you substitute this in this equation. And we can also write we can also write this as m1 can be written as w1 divided by g right which is equal to m1. So we can represent this equation in terms of w also because all the g's in the denominator will get gets cancelled. So we can represent in terms of weight and intervals and also in terms of mass. So again an important point uh, it is saying is this principle is needed to be applied to the entire system and not to the individual elements. See we have seen there are two bodies here and uh, the, if a system has two bodies and this conservation principle should be applied to the whole system and not to the individual bodies. So let us take this example and we apply this uh, conservation of momentum for this. So a guy is there who is uh, standing in, in the ship and he is trying to jump into the water. In order to jump, he first applies force here. Due to this application of force, the water exerts a reaction on the ship. So this force and this force, two gets balanced. So F minus R, considering the upward forces as positive, F minus R is equal to zero. So the resultant is resultant is equal to zero. So then we can apply here conservation of momentum principle. Uh, suppose that the ship has mass m1 and the this guy has mass m2. Before jumping, let us say the ship is moving with a velocity of 
u and say after traveling the distance uh, after jumping he jumped into the river let us say now the ship has velocity v1 which is final velocity and this guy has velocity v2 so here first one first body is ship and second body is person firstly initial velocity of ship and the uh, person is same which is u and uh, when coming to the final the ship has velocity v1 and the guy has velocity v2 as the resultant is zero we can apply conservation of momentum principle so what is conservation of momentum principle m1 u1 plus m2 u2 total initial momentum is equal to total final momentum m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so here m1 and m2 are different but u1 and u2 are same because they are uh, the man and the ship is has the same velocity so m1 plus m2 into taking the u as common because u1 is equal to u2 is equal to u and here m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so this is how we need to apply the conservation of momentum principle let us solve a problem based on this conservation of momentum so here a question is given a car is weighing 11000 newtons running at 10 meter per second holds three men weighing 700 newton the men jump sorry there be, the question is missing to hmm so the question is there are three men on this car and this car is traveling at 10 meter per second when three are in the uh, on this car and uh, each person jumps one by one and the relative velocity between car and this person is 5 meter per second what is relative velocity velocity of this person when compared to this velocity which is called relative velocity so we can write so velocity of car velocity of car minus velocity of person is equal to relative velocity in this case relative velocity in this case is this the men jump gaining relative velocity 5 meter per second if it is 5 meter per second then this is the relative velocity find the speed of the car if three men jump jump off one by one if one man jumped off the velocity of this car so increases to a slight extent and if uh, another man jumps and the velocity increases and if another man jumps uh, and again the velocity increases so what is the final velocity uh, by each jump so in order to find this we need to apply this moment uh, conservation momentum principle so firstly let us say first man jumps first man jumps off at v1 meter per second so if the first man jumps off the car will be moving with a speed of v1 meter per second after jumping the car will be moving at v1 meter per second the initial velocity is u is equal to 10 meter per second and now let us apply the conservation of momentum what is conservation of momentum initial momentum what is initial momentum 
डब्ल्यू वन यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू टू यू टू इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू वन वी वन प्लस डब्ल्यू टू वी टू एंड हियर द डब्ल्यू वन इज लेवन थाउजेंड एंड हियर यू वन इज इक्वल टू यू टू विच इज यू वन इज इक्वल टू यू टू because the three people and uh, the car is traveling in the same uh, uh, traveling with same velocity because they are sitting on the car so taking u common and uh, w to weight of each person is 700 newton so 3 into 700 into u is common which is equal to here weight of the car is 11000 newton and uh, finally there are two person sitting here but one person is running on the road so the total weight of the car after he jumping on the road is 2 into 700 because only two members are on the car the velocity with which the car is traveling after the first man jumps is v1 this is v1 and uh, velocity of the person running on the road is v1 minus 5 because relative velocity is car velocity minus person velocity so we need uh, person velocity right vp is equal to v car minus relative velocity so car velocity v1 minus relative velocity is 5 so here u is 11000 plus 3 into 700 into 10 is equal to here there is 2 2 into 700 into v1 and here it is 1 v1 and if you take v1 common from these both 11000 plus here 2 into 700 into v1 and again here it will be 700 here because w2 is 700 the weight of one person w2 is 700 so 11000 And seven hundred into v one plus two into seven hundred into v one, which will be three into seven hundred into v one minus five into seven hundred. Five into seven hundred. From this, we can find v one as v one is equal to seven hundred. If we simplify this, it will become seven hundred into five. Divided by eleven thousand plus three into seven hundred plus ten. This will be the V one. So, next one. Second person. Second person jumps off. Second person jumps it. Let us say. v2 meter per second which means after jump uh, after second person jumping the uh, car the car travels with a velocity here it is traveling with velocity v2 only one person is sitting on the car the second person is running here and the second person is running with a velocity v2 minus 5 Phi is relative velocity. Here, the car is traveling with a velocity v1, and this person is traveling with a velocity v1 minus phi. So, the initial the initial momentum is firstly two person are on the car. Two persons are on the car initially. So, eleven thousand is the weight of car plus. Two persons are on the car, 
each of 700 Newton weight the initial velocity will be V1 why it is V1 because after jumping uh, the first after jumping of the first person the final velocity is V1 so for the second person jumping the initial velocity will be V1 and uh, weight of the car is 11,000 and after jumping of the second person only one person is left on the car so the weight of the that person is 700 and he, uh, the car is traveling with a velocity V2 plus and the weight of the person the second body right weight of the person is 700 velocity with which he is traveling is V2 minus 5 From this, if you solve this, eleven thousand plus two into seven hundred into V one is equal to eleven thousand plus here it is seven hundred V two and here it is seven hundred V two. If you take this V two into this one so it will become 2 into 700 into v2 minus 5 into 700 so it becomes now here sending this to this side 700 into 5 is equal to and sending this to this side 11000 plus 2 into 700 taking common and here it will be V2 minus V1 so sending this to this side 700 into 5 divided by 11000 plus 2 into 700 plus V1 gives V2 ok this is V2 and next we got V2 and the third person should jump so third man third person jumps of it let us say v3 meter per second this is what we need to get right this is the car and no one is present on the car now and the person is jumped here the velocity with which he is traveling is v3 minus 5 meter per second this will be traveling with a velocity v3 so initially the weight of the car is 11,000 plus with one person 700 and it is traveling with a velocity V2 finally car weight is 11,000 Newtons into velocity with which it is traveling is V3 and the velocity of the uh, sorry weight of the person is 700 velocity of the person with which he is traveling is v3 minus pi if you solve this 11000 plus 700 into v2 which is equal to 11000 v3 and 700 v3 so we can get here as 11000 plus 700 into v3 minus 5 into 700 And from this, if you send it to here and this to here, 5 into 700 is equal to this two are, this two are same and uh, we can take a common 11,000 plus 700 into V3 minus V2 
again sending this to this side 5 into 700 divided by 11,000 plus 700 and uh, sending this also to this side plus V2 gives V3 this is what V3 so we know V2 right finally V3 is equal to 5 into 700 plus 11,000 plus what is V2? We got V2 as 700 into 5 divided by 11,000 plus 2 into 700 plus V1 by substituting this here so V2 we got as 700 into 5 divided by 11,000 plus 2 into 700 plus V1 and what is V1? V3 is equal to 5 into 700 divided by 11,000 sorry 11,000 plus 700 plus 700 into 5 divided by 11,000 plus 2 into 700 plus V1 we got it as 700 into 5 divided by 11,000 plus 3 into 700 plus 10 this is what V1 this is V1 and if we solve this we get V3 as 10.849 meter per second So this is what after after jumping one by one the car travels with ten point eight four nine meter per second. This is how we need to solve the problems using conservation of momentum principle. And now let us see collision and impact of elastic bodies. Basically, what is collision? When bodies collide, it is said to be collision, right? When the bodies strike each other, that action is called collision. Then what is impact? Impact is a collision, but uh, but during the collision the bodies are in contact for a short interval of time and exert very large force on each other then it will be called as impact so the collision in which the contact time is very less and the force exerted is very large is called impact during collision this happens like this water elastic bodies which deform Elastic bodies are those which deform and uh, again it uh, retains it to its original shape. Regains its original shape after removal of load. Those are elastic bodies. So let us say this is one body and this is another body. This is traveling with a velocity and this is traveling with another velocity and uh, these are going to collide first the bodies touch each other and then due to the impact based on the property of uh, the material with which uh, the bodies are made let us say this deforms like this 
and this deforms like this and after that the board is try to move try to move away from each other okay and then the board is move that the board is are separated this moves here and this moves here so this is approach and this is contact position this is deform position maximum deformation position and this is again uh, the contact when the uh, when they are going to separate and this is separation this period is called the period between the balls contacting and the maximum deformation is called period of deformation and this is called period of restitution this is period of restitution the period between the initial contact and uh, maximum deformation is period of deformation and uh, maximum deformation and uh, final contact is period of restitution this total period is called initial contact to final contact is called period of collision this is period of collision so period of collision is sum of period of deformation and period of restitution so what is period of def uh, deformation time between the initial contact and maximum deformation and uh, period of restitution is time between maximum deformation and separation of bodies and uh, let us derive an important uh, equation which is very useful and it is called as coefficient of restitution in order to derive it let us say let us divide this into uh, two parts during deformation and during restitution during deformation the let us say the impact is fd this fd varies from zero at initial contact to maximum value at maximum deformation so as this is the initial contact the force will be zero and uh, when it reaches to a maximum deformation the force will be maximum so f uh, the impact is fd into dt sorry this is impulse this is impulse by impulse momentum equation we get fd into dt is equal to change of momentum right m1 ud max minus m1 u1 this ud max will be same for first body and second body because the deformation on the first body is equal to deformation on second body right so the velocity with which the velocity of uh, when the deformation is occurring is constant which is ud max and uh, if you consider the restitution here also it is impulse impulse is force into time right fr into dt here we are not taking the total time because the force is varying in deformation the force is varying from zero to maximum value at maximum deformation and uh, here as it is a restitution this is the period of restitution right this is the period of restitution here the force will be maximum right the force will be from maximum to a point uh, minimum the force varies from maximum value at maximum deformation to zero at instant of just separation so fr into dt is 
m1 v1 initial minus sorry final minus initial the final velocity the final momentum is m1 v1 the velocity with which they are separating so this is let us say u1 this is u2 and here the velocity is here it is u d max u d max is the velocity and here it will be v1 here it is v2 final velocity of the body 1 and final velocity of the body 2 so it will be m1 v1 the final momentum is the final momentum is this so sorry this is for the first body just now uh, we are considering only first body m1 v1 minus m1 ud max the initial momentum for this period of restitution is this m m1 into u1 sorry ud max these are the equations for the first body and for the first body if we divide if we divide impulse for restitution and uh, impulse for deformation we get fr dt divided by fd dt we get m1 v1 minus m1 ud max m1 v1 minus m1 ud max divided by m1 ud max minus m1 u1 this is here and if you take common m1 m1 gets cancelled and we remain with v1 minus ud max divided by ud max minus u1 similarly if we consider for second body it will be m2 ud max minus m2 v2 and m2 u2 minus ud max considering this uh, this we get this by considering the rightward direction as positive and left as negative so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 in order to get uh, for both the bodies this is for the first body and this is for the second body total impulse is given by sorry total simple impulse ratio is given by 1 plus 2 right this will be v1 minus ud max plus u d max minus v2 here you can see v1 minus u d max u d max minus v2 this is what we wrote here and uh, in the denominator u d max minus u1 plus u2 minus u d max u d max minus u1 plus u2 minus u d max we get this u d max u d max gets cancelled here and ha here again it gets cancelled so we remain with v1 minus v2 divided by u2 minus u1 and also we can write it as v2 minus v1 by u1 minus u2 by changing the signs on numerator and denominator both and this is the this is called coefficient of restitution the ratio of v2 minus v1 and u1 minus u2 is called coefficient of restitution this v2 minus v1 what is v2 minus v1 the final velocity minus initial velocity which is relative velocity of sorry this is velocity of the final velocity of the second body minus initial velocity uh, sorry final velocity of the first body which is velocity relative velocity of separation and if we consider two bodies uh, before impact velocities of two bodies before impact it will be relative velocity of approach so v2 minus v1 is relative velocity of separation which is after the impact and uh, u1 minus u2 is relative velocity of approach which is before the impact and this e is called as coefficient of restitution and this e depends on uh, uh, shape of uh, e depends this e depends on depends on shape of the bodies shape of bodies and again material material 
material of bodies etc it may depend on many factors but these are the important shape of the bodies and material of the bodies and for this is the important one it may be asked for one mark so for uh, perfectly elastic perfectly elastic bodies e is equal to 1 and perfectly inelastic or it can be said as uh, perfectly plastic bodies e is equal to 0 and perfectly sorry for normal inelastic bodies it will be 0 to 1 and not including 0 and 1 here and then for super elastic bodies e will be greater than 1 So for this, summing up the collision, there are three important formulas which we can, by this, we, uh, we can apply directly to the problems. For example, W1, W2, E, U, U1 and U2. What are this? W1, W2 are weights of the bodies, E is coefficient of restitution and uh, U1 and U2 are initial velocities of first body and second body. If these are given and it is asked to find V1 and V2, then the following equations can be used. What are those equations? This W1, U1 plus W2, U2 which is equal to W1, V1 plus W2, V2. This is, what is this? Conservation of momentum and uh, e into u1 minus u2 is equal to v2 minus v1 we have seen coefficient of distribution formula as v2 minus v1 by u1 minus u2 uh, taking uh, u1 minus u2 to lhs from rhs we get this so these two equations can be used this is conservation of momentum equation and uh, this is we got uh, formula as coefficient of restitution and during the impact during the impact there will be a loss of kinetic energy so what is the loss of kinetic energy kinetic energy is given by half mv square half into mass into velocity square the kinetic energy loss will be by the both the bodies right the first body loses a velocity of half m initially it will be high minus half m v1 square the final velocity will be less than initial velocity right so it will be half m u1 square minus half one v1 square and uh, similarly for second body it will be half m u2 square minus v2 square this also can be written as if the bodies are with different masses it will be m1 and m2 and there is one important formula for a freely falling body from a height h0 and bounds h1 e is equal to so if there is a let us say there is a tower from which a body is dropped and this height is h0 and it rebounds us to a height h1 then the coefficient of restitution between this body and the surface is equal to under root h1 by h0 the derivation is not required as a gate is based on answers and not the derivations so these are three important formulas first one is the conservation of momentum and the second one is coefficient of restitution based formula and uh, next one is loss of kinetic energy how much kinetic energy is lost during the collision and the uh, next one is for a freely falling body and having a bounce what is the coefficient of restitution between the body and the surface on which the body is hitting let us solve this problem based on a uh, this formula see there is a golf ball is dropped from a height of 10 meters on a fixed steel plate the coefficient of restitution is 
एट नाइन फोर फाइन द हाइट टू विच द बॉल रिबोन्सेस ऑन फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड थर्ड बॉन्सेस सो इज आस्किंग अस टू फाइन ऑन थ्री बॉन्सेस वॉट इज द हाइट रीच फर्स्ट इट विल बी ड्रॉप्ड फ्रॉम टेन मीटर्स हाइट दिस इज टेन मीटर्स एंड इट इज हेच नॉट This is the steel plate, fixed steel plate, and then it rises to a height of let us say it is H one, and again it falls, again it rises to a height H two, again it rises and falls. It is H three. It is asked to find the three heights, right? First, second, and third bones. First bones. This is second bones and this is third bones. Firstly, we know E is equal to under root. What is the formula? H one by H naught, right? H one by H naught. This is the formula. And uh, we need to get the answer from this. H one is equal to E square. Squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides and uh, multiplying h naught with e, e square. And from this we get h one as h one is equal to what is coefficient of restitution? E is equal to zero point eight nine four. Zero point eight nine four. So it is zero point eight nine four square into what is the initial height? It is ten. We get H one as seven point double nine two meters, and what is next one? This will become H one. So E is equal to under root, and the next one will be H two, right? H two divided by H one, and for this, for this it will become H two by H one. We need H two, right? H two is equal to E square into H one, and H two is equal to what is E zero point eight nine four square zero point eight nine four square into what is H one seven point double nine two. We get H two value as six point three double eight meters. And the next one is E is equal to under root H three by H two. We get H three as E square into H two. So H three is equal to zero point eight nine four square into H two is zero six point three double eight. And we get H three as five point one zero five meters. This is the third bones one. This is the second bones, and the first one is seven point double nine two meters. This is how we need to solve the problems based on collision. The problems may be asked based on this one, and based on loss of kinetic energy, or this. so you need to practice the problems i will attach the problems with this video in the description so you can practice more problems so if you like this video please like share and subscribe this channel thank you